Hello. This is a short video explaining how to prepare and execute joint wiping on a pipeline. In this video we will explain how to prepare the pipe ends, apply cement, put together a wiping ball, and show a demonstration of joint wiping a bell and spigot seam on a pipeline mock-up. The first thing we want to do is clean both the spigot end and bell end of the pipe we are going to be joining. A grinding disc or wire brush can be used for this purpose. Clean both inside and outside of the pipe ends to remove all rust, mill scale, and any other contaminants. To ensure that you get the best fit possible, we need to measure the bell end depth to ensure that we get the smallest seam possible. Depending on the size of the pipe you are installing, this measurement will most likely be different from our example. Review your manufacturer pipe specs and make field measurements before you install. In this case, our bell end had a depth of 2 inches. Make a mark on the spigot end of the pipe to match up with the bell end. At this point of the job, we want to start applying cement to the spigot end of the pipe. The cement should be mixed so it has a sticky consistency that will adhere well to the roof of the pipe. Use a cupping motion with your hand and apply the cement all around the inside of the bell end. While the cement starts to firm up, we need to start preparing the wiping line. The first thing we need to do is feed a rope through our 40-foot section of pipe. There are many ways of doing this, and in this example we are going to use the guide string method. We are taking a weighted ball, wrapped in paper to protect the lining of the pipe and hucking it 40 feet down the pipe. As you can see, this might take a few tries. Like I said before, there are other ways of running the line through the pipe. Once you have the guide line through the pipe, pull the wiping rope through. Before your joint wiping job begins, you should construct your joint wiping ball. Again there are many ways of doing this, but whatever method you use, there are some key elements you need to pay attention to. A joint wiping ball can be many things, a pipe pig, a sewer ball, or other pipeline cleaning objects. The, old school way of doing this job was to pull a bunch of wadded up burlap sacks through the pipe. While this is still possible, it's much easier to wrap burlap around some sort of object that is inflatable, and pull that through. In preparing to pull the ball through the pipe, we first need to soak all the burlap with water. This will help with pulling the ball through the pipe, and smooth out the cement over the seams. In this scene, we need to pretend that this will be the existing pipeline that is already installed. Place the wiping ball in the pipe. We want to make sure that fit is very snug all around the inner diameter of the pipe. Take the time to tuck in all the burlap and get it ready to be pulled in the direction you are going to wipe. Take your wiping line and tie off to the wiping ball. Make sure you make a secure knot, we will be applying a lot of pull to the line.
Mark out your location where you will be making your single tack weld. The location of your tack should be made on the field top of the pipe. We are ready now to fit the pipe together. When fitting joints of pipe together, you should be installing the pipe at an angle, then lowering it into place. Make sure that the wiping line is out of the way, and begin to fit the pieces together. Make sure you fit the bell end of the pipe all the way to the previous marked line on the pipe. Remember we are trying to make the smallest gap possible between the two joints of pipe. Once the pipe is in place, tack a single weld in the chosen area on the field top. This will hold the pipe in place as we lower the pipe to complete the fit up. After the tack is in place, begin to lower the pipe. As you can see from this example from inside the pipe, the two pipes joining together fills in the gap in the cement lining, squeezing out all of the excess cement. This will be the cement that we need to wipe down. Once the pipe is lowered, begin to pull the wiping ball through the pipe. This should be done with slow, smooth strokes. After you have completed wiping down the joint, pull the wiping ball the rest of the way down the pipe. Leave the ball in the pipe about a foot away from the end. Repeat this process for the next piece of pipe. Depending on the temperature of the day, it may be necessary at some point to take out the wiping ball and reapply water to the burlap. We thought that it would be helpful for you to see the results of what a joint that has been wiped looks like. We cut the pipe off near the joint and here are the results of what a wiped joint should look like. If you did everything right, there should be no empty spaces in between the bell and spigot. Any excess cement that was squeezed out, was wiped away by the wiping ball. Thanks for watching our video.